What is going on guys? It's your boy Pose here again, but this time I'm not on my channel. I'm here with my boy Shallow. So sup. I'm here doing something that I'm not really used to doing, and that is going through and helping, you know, just, just doing theories all together. Theories, speculation, discussion. I don't do that. I do Nuzlocks. I do gaming, like Let's Plays and stuff. I, I'm, I'm not used to this. But anyway, I was told to go through this list. I don't know if he's going to edit and put it on the screen or what's going to happen. It would be funny if he edit it right here. Yeah, that would be... Yeah. Let's do it. Anyway. Um, I'm, I'm, no, I'm just going to skip to the point. <laughs> so, look at this. First off, we got Grookey. He's a little cute little boy. He's like, hi. How's it going? How's it going? And, uh, so it, it's kind of like, you know, it's a Chinese riddle, literally type of thing. I'm stuttering a lot. Forgive me. I had a long day. I had a long week. I need a drink. But anyway, it becomes like a monk. So apparently what it's saying is it may just become a bigger monkey with a stick. It's not a stick, but it's remote. You know, with a stick, and it fights with a stick. And then, and then, monkey number three. This is where things get interesting. Sun Wung Kong. I think that's how you say it. And if it don't, meh. I don't speak that language. Anyway. And then it, it says it may be steel. Or normal. I'm pretty sure it's steel because it'll just counter the next coming up. But it says steel. Grass and steel. Which I'm trying to figure out how steel would be inter... Interve... I have no words today. You know, but you know. A grass steel, Sun Wong Kong could be a possible evolution for that. Because this is what it's saying. I'm, my job is to read this, give my discussion. I would not mind because the steel would counter the very next one for Score Bunny. Its evolution, you know, has a, really, a, a, a pretty little pink bunny. Also fire. And then it gets even more interesting with bunny number three. So, bunny number three, it gains the fairy typing. I forget what it's based off of. I didn't write any notes. Like I said, I do everything that I do. Non-scripted, nonchalant, you know. Meh. Anyway. But yeah. So, it, so the steel could counter the, you know, the fairy. And then this is where, the, for some odd reason, everybody's loving the sad little boy. He's like... I like that. I don't want to use that for a thumbnail. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. This isn't my channel. I'm sorry, guys. This is what I do. I ramble. This is what I do. Anyway, we got Sobble. He apparently would become like one of those finned lizards. I mean, he's already a thin lizard. I, 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 I need to study more. Anyway, and it looks to me that it will become a water dragon according to lizard number three. Personally, I think that they could really look some pretty cool designs coming from Sobble, you know, having himself like a little timid little baby actually grow up. You know, this all-powerful sea creature. That'd be really cool. It's already three or so minutes in. Next up, we have what I'm suspecting to be the rodent of this region. And it was it said it's going to be based on a hamster. It shows a picture of a sleepy hamster, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a small baby hamster. And it will evolve into like a big cheeked up hamster. Kind of like a little racket now I'm thinking about it. But it will then gain the grass typing, which makes sense because they're usually found, you know, collecting seeds and stuff, which will probably be implemented into the design if this is 100% real. And now we go on to the original bird of the... God, I, this is why I should script, but I don't. But, you know, original bird of the region. It looks like it's an egg with a bird coming out of it, which would be kind of cute because we did it with Bullaby or whatever. And I think that was the cutest little thing whenever I was younger. I'm like, oh my god, it's a bird and an egg. It looks like that's what we could be getting, is a bird and an egg, which I would actually kind of enjoy. But the thing I will not enjoy, though, is the fact that, as it looks here, it will be uh, a one, another water flying type. I'm not a huge fan of water flying. I mean, I like flying types, personally. But just water flying is so overdone. We have, like, Gyarados. We got, uh... I can't think of anything that 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 swan, swana, ducklet, you know, the whole ten yards. I mean, they usually stick to the normal flying, but instead they just kind of go out of the loop 
and now we, it might it looks like it'd be based on like a crane or a heron or something like that which again I have no objections to and I am super super excited for this we have a grasshopper grasshopper number one could again be the possible grass not grass the bug type of the region and as it's looking because if you haven't noticed a trend the colors above where the name would be is colored with the whole you know typing so it, it then evolves and becomes well a bigger grasshopper just a bigger grasshopper and it looks like he'll gain a fighting type so grass well bug fighting that, that, that typing sounds familiar before like an old trip he's familiar see what I did there but anyway so the, it would be a giant grasshopper fighting for its life you know which I, I, I would like we haven't had a grasshopper I don't think I mean we may but I don't pay attention uh, <laughs> moving on we have a squirrel a the red squirrel of all things which would be pretty cool to see like it's little your tufts blazing because it will be a it says it will be a fire type again I don't know how accurate this is again I'm this is out of my ballpark but a red squirrel with the fire typing don't screw it up green freak Game Freak, yeah, Game Freak, don't screw it up, okay? Don't screw it up at all. We need a fire squirrel. <laughs> and now this is where things start to take an interesting turn that I can't really tell you much about. Well, we have the pig, a little baby pig, and then it becomes a boar, which it looks like would be a ground type or a rock. Uh, it looks like it'll become a rock type because the ground's a little bit more darker. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just going through this. It's my job. Go through this. Thanks, Jalo. Anyway, so moving on, we have a potato. I'm just going to skip over these plants. I don't know much about plants, history about plants, and different things like that. So moving on, we have a fish one, which it says here would be be based would be based on a goldfish. And then I forget the name of the goldfish that is, but it usually has like a huge head, which I think would be really cool design, since if it gets, it will be getting the psychic typing. I'm just reading again. I'm not, I'm not knowing for a fact. I don't know if for a fact this is real or not. But if it is, spoiler alert. It will be getting the psychic typing, so water psychic, kind of like a bruxish. 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 How do you say it? I don't know. Anyway. Which would make sense because of big, big mind. This is what I really, really, really want. This is the thing that popped out at me when I first saw this thing. I'm like, yes. We are. We, it's. I mean, like I said, I'm not, I keep saying we will, but just for the sake of this video, I just say we will. Anyway, it says here, dog one is a little tiny electric pooch, and an electric dog, a little puppy. I, I can see it running around super quick, super hyperactive all the time. One of those hyper puppies chewing on everything, you know. And then it becomes a greyhound. Could the dog be an electric greyhound? Which would make sense because, again, the electric types are usually quick, and greyhounds are known to be one of the faster dog breeds around. So it would match its typing pretty well. Moving on, we have Fairy 1, as it shows here. I don't know what else to say other than it's a bubble. It's a bubble. Anyway, moving on, we have Ant 1, which is little larva, it looks like. Little egg larva of an ant. And then Ant 2A, which looks like it'll be a split evolution, kind of like the Ga Gallade and Gardevoir, if you're, in a, if you're new to this, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this like it's my job. I mean, it kind of is. But, you know, I'm get, I can't get distracted. I have to lay down the law. I have to give you what your people want. So, it has a split of evolution. Ant 2A looks like it will become a bug... Um... Uh... Fire? Bug fire type, which makes sense because there's a fire ant on there. And then it will be... Bug A2. Bug 2B. Which will look like it will be the bug flying type. Well, we have a lot of bug flying types, but we don't have enough bug fire. We need that fire to burn inside our bugs and take over the world. That got dark. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Next up we have Sheep 2 and Sheep 3, which is actually starting to raise some suspicion. Could this be a split evolution of Mareep? That's what Shao was talking about earlier. He was like, hey, what if this is the split evolution of Mareep and he becomes an actual sheep with a whole bunch of fur, or wool in this case. So that goes for Sheep 3, which looks like he would just which I, I'm not completely falling for, because if Marie is electric, it looks like it's here, it would be a normal and then normal steel. So I don't know. Next up we have the Badger 1 and Badger 2. This looks like it will be dark and ground, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I could be wrong. I said, I'm new to this. Badger 1 looks like it'll be a little cute little baby, like all pre-evolutions usually are, with that nice bold stripe, because it, it looks like it's definitely zoomed in on the face a lot, so I'm thinking, you know, the nice stripe that goes all the way down, definitely a big part of this. And then we have Badger 2, which is not so friendly, to put the least. It looks like he's getting his teeth bared, he's ready to attack anything, he goes from cute and cuddly boys to, you know. I'm going to eat ya boy, if that makes any sense. Next up we have something that sounds pretty interesting. Stone 1, which is a rock, so there's a pure rock, and then Stone 2, which gains a psychic typing. So what I'm thinking, you know, what if this is like some type of enchanted stone or something that is one of the reasons why there's like hone edges all, not hone edges, but you get to what I'm saying. All the, the rocks scattered through the region. What if this has something to do with that? And the psychic typing could deal with like some magical thing that goes on. Let me scroll down. Hold on. Let me just scroll down here. Next up, we have Rat One. All I can say it looks freaky in this picture. And okay, moving on. Clock One, we have a ghost type. And that ghost is a clock. So what if there's like a haunted clock or something that goes on like if you touch it, you know, you know, that thing, uh, <laughs> you know, that thing, uh, you know, you get cursed for eternity or something like that. And then it looks like it evolves into a clock two. Clock two, something about clocks. Yeah, clock two looks like it will be a, again, a haunted clock that eventually, you know, get, starts getting more shape, getting those eyes, that mouth, that smile, that evil incarnate of a clock. Yes. Anyway, moving on, we have the manta manatee, which is interesting. I don't think we have anything based on that yet. Again, water type, baby calf. Then it becomes a water ground type, which makes sense because they're usually underwater, you know, by the ground, moving around. Uh, next up, what I think, this is the thing that jumped out at me whenever I first saw it. Fencer 1A and Fencer 1B. They are facing each other. And they, you know, they're fencing. But the thing that jumps out at me is it's fighting steel, both of them. So I was thinking, what if there's something that you can do in game to change whatever's based on this to go and change its form. That's what that's looking like. Maybe something like instead of changing its type, just change its stats around. Like one is more attack while one's more focused on defense. I don't know. There's not much to say to it about the toad other than the toad looks like a frog in the picture. It's a psychic type and then it becomes a fat, ugly toad, which is also a psychic type. Next up is the, what I'm thinking of. You, have to, you guys have to bear with me. You'll see what I did there in a few. Actually, you know you won't because there's no bears on this list now that I'm looking, so that joke was irrelevant. We have a sloth. Now, what I'm trying to figure out, I don't see any hints to where it would be rock in the thing, but then again, I'm also super zoomed in on this picture. We have a sloth one and sloth two. Sloth 2 looks like it's a big sloth, which makes sense because there is extinct sloths that, well, you know, went extinct. And while I was thinking, what if this, and coming up, is the new fossils? And that would be grass... Wait, 
give me a second. I'm looking at this real quick. Is that grass water? And grass, well, anyway, rock grass is definitely the sloth. Next up, we have Tiger One, which is a cute um, saber tooth cat. Yeah. And, oh, kitten. And then it becomes a full grown, full tooth, teeth, whatever you want to call it, tiger. This boy looks, would look um, definitely amazing if this was real. I'm really knocking on wood this is, because you know. Um, you know. But anyway, this thing will be amazing. I'm pretty sure this is water. But I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely going to be fossil or resurrected. So I will be definitely getting this fossil if this is real. I'm just telling you that now. That, that is going to be my fossil. Next up, we have Bat 1 and Bat 2. You know, we can't have a region without a regional bat. And it looks like it's going to be dark and flying, and then it becomes a bigger, like a fruit bat light, which is again, dark flying. Moving on, we have a mole, which looks like it's grass, ground poison? Probably grass poison. Oh, well, ground poison. Because I'm not seeing anything other than, like that rat looked normal poison, this, this mole looks ground, which is obvious. And poison, then it becomes a star nose mole. Next up, we says it says sting one, which is kind of interesting because the hedgehog. So wonder we're probably getting a uh, steel hedgehog, maybe, hopefully. I don't know. There's a lot of steel that's in this, obviously. Next up is something I really, really, really hope for. I love the type combination. I've been wanting a actual type like this. No offense, Rotom, because we don't really have any electric fire types. We need one. So we have a baby gazelle, which is pure electric, that will become a big spiral horned gazelle, number two, which gains the fire type income. Like I said, I, I don't know. Horns on fire, just my thing. I like having horny fire. Um, the next up, we have a snail one. It looks like it's just a regular ground type, like a slug, and then it gains a shell, giving it a rock typing at the end. Next up, we have our Pika clone. Now this is where you gotta hold our britches. We have, uh, well, you know, obviously gonna be a part electric. But this thing has those big old ears, I forget what they're called. Again, like, I, I know what these animals are called. I just, you know, <laughs> missing some of it. But it's got those big old ears, it's going to be, or it says it's going to be, a electric fire. I, it's gonna be adorable or really stupid depending on how they make it look if they do go this route And this is 100% legitimate news next up. We have a dragon a poison Komodo dragon uh, Komodo dragons are really awesome anyway like they're poisonous and they're the closest thing that we have for a dragon here So it's obvious that we have a poisonous dragon based on Komodo dragon next up I'm just gonna skip over ivy. Like I said, I'm sorry. I'm skipping over so many plants, you know I'm just me. I'm a storm. I don't focus my attention on plants. I'm, I, I focus it on destroying people. People is my... <laughs> uh, anyway. Next up we have, here we go, the Evolution, which obviously in this picture looks like it's going to be a steel type. I don't mind, I just want another Evolution. Don't make it look stupid. Please, Game Freak, don't make the next evolution look stupid. I beg you. But this is what I brought up the other night, whenever I came across this. Next we have Ghost 1, Ghost 2, and Ghost 3. Um, uh, scrolling down a little bit. We're almost at the end. Alright, Ghost 1, Ghost 2, Ghost 3. Ghost 1 is just a ghost. A plain old ghost. And Ghost 2, it looks like it inhabits an armor. Some armor. And then Ghost 3, I'm guessing the armor will go and let's say he'll gather more things like a sword and a shield. See what you guys did there. And he becomes a ghost knight, basically. I'm gonna skip over this next one because I don't know much about it. Next up we have a dark type ferret. I'm so excited for another ferret. I love ferrets, they're adorable. Anyway, where was I? Now we have the nose bear one, I don't really know what it's supposed to mean, but it's going to be a psychic type. Looks like it's going to be a red raccoon. I don't know. I, I don't know much about that. And wait, wait, no, I'm at the ferret. Next we have a flea. It's a bug. And it, it, it's a flea. Yeah, moving on. I'm going to skip this one because I forget the name of it. 
but it's a creepy looking like it's going to be either it's definitely not going to be dragon probably ghost poison or ghost dart nah d definitely going to be ghost poison how it looks here but it matches a lot to dragon i i don't know i don't know about this one next up we have a pocket one on pocket two it looks like it will be also water looking at how this is or ice actually that could be what this color is because it's not that blue so going back to the saber tooth tiger thing maybe it would be rock ice maybe the tux will be a you know solid chunk of ice that comes out that would be really cool that makes more sense than water like whatever we're going to do with water next up we have anyway back to apacas apacas why do i say apacas they are paca apaca i think i don't know it's a weird word i love saying it it's fun to say we got one and two Again, it looks like it'll be normal ice. So, that'll be fun. Whale 1 and Whale 2. Whale 1 is going to be a cute little whale. And Whale 2, though, looking at here, will either be water fire or water fighting. I'm going more for water fire, though, because that, that color matches more with, you know. Thing. But then again, it's a narwhal. So it busts through ice with this big spear on its nose. I don't know. Next up, we got Robot 2 and Robot 1. Robot 1 looks like, you know, a happy little robot. Beep, 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 beep. Being an electric type and all that. Good stuff, good stuff. Probably steel electric. Then it becomes like a Godzilla looking thing, you know. Picture has kind of like her. So, next up, we have Snowman 1 and Snowman 2. I was literally just talking about this like a couple months ago. When it was revealed, I was like, there better be a snowman in there. And then this came out, I'm like, score. Anyway, so Snowman 1, just, you know, a regular snowman. Snowman 2, that it looks like it's going to be something crazy. Some big old jagged spikes throughout. Don't fail us, Game Freak. Don't fail us. And next up, it says Thorn 1, which looks like it's going to be one of those, like, spiky lizards. Probably... I don't know, electric fire, normal fire, I don't know, it's gonna be part fire though, as it looks. Next up we have the Kangaroo 1 and Kangaroo 2. Kangaroo 1 is just a little joey in a pouch, looks like in this picture, so maybe like a little baby, normal type, and that becomes a fighting type kangaroo. And pictured here, it looks like it's gonna be either, well, you know, red kangaroo is most likely gonna be it. I'm just excited for another kangaroo mon, I'm so happy. And again, it's not confirmed. It's not confirmed that this is true. I'm going to keep saying this throughout the video. But then, you know, gets the fighting type. Next up is we're coming to the very end of this video. So we're going to have more legendaries, mythicals, and stuff like that. Next up, we have Unicorn 1, which is obviously going to be a fairy type. I'm, I would really, really, really want to, you know, a unicorn, honestly. Like, I think they can do something so pretty with that. Next up we have Monster 1, which looking like it's going to be dark water, which is most obviously from the picture shown, going to be best on, based on Nessie, the lake, not, lake, you know, the lake monster, the infamous Nessie. Next up we have Dragon 1, which is pure dragon, it shows a picture of an egg, and then in Dragon 2, which is, you know, the, it, out of its egg, with the ice typing added to it. So Dragon Ice, I like that combination a lot. Kiram does, didn't cut it for me. It looks stupid. It, it just, I, I don't know what it is. I don't like it. I don't like Kiram. And then Dragon 3 it has like a picture of a super cool looking dragon. So I'm really excited for that. Like again, if this is, you know, you got this. You got this, guys. Next up, we have Snake 1, which is probably going to be the first main legendary of this while the monster one and unicorn one the monster and the unicorn is probably going to be the mythicals of this region we have snake one and horse one snake one obvious look, uh, looks like a steel and poison type so i'm thinking of something more or less like a uh, robotic look to both of these and I, I just i'm just excited for that as well i don't know i'm just get, getting hyped up i really want to see this happen Next up we have Horse 1, which looks a lot like the Trojan Horse. Which take place over... 
elsewhere. But anyway, let's seal grass. Next up, we have Wolf A1, Wolf 1B. I'm so happy we got here. I can actually go and go on a rant about this, but I have to keep it short because we're going 30 minutes now. Wolf A1 and Wolf... They're both going to be, as it says here, steel fighting. I do not... I'll be completely honest. I do not know how I feel about that. Um... They should go for more, like, different types, instead of like, oh, yeah, it don't matter what one I pick. Other than, you know, one's obviously going to be more defense, while one's going to be obviously more attack. But I don't know, I, I just wanted more, you know, balance, like, how uh, Xerneas and Yveltal was, you know, fairy, dark, etc. Um, but yeah, I, I just really, really, really want to see what these legendaries are. I really, 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 really do. And that... Okay, now we have the very final row. We have Nord 1, East 1, South 1, and West 1. So, what I was thinking here, it says well, the first one is obviously a turtle. The second for the East is a dragon. And then the third one for the South looks like a phoenix of some sort. One of my favorite, you know, creatures. And then we have West 1, which is a snow in a white tiger. So I'll go through each one of these individually. The tortoise is going to be looking like it will be steel water, which will make sense because the steel shell, you know, bulky up, looking pretty strong. Next up we have east one, which looks like it is a dragon in electric type. I like that combination. Like I said, I like a lot of electric type combinations, but electric dragon's pretty cool. Gotta admit, guys, Electric Dragon is not really cool. I'll, I'll probably do a video of this later, one of these days, about what, how what I'm thinking is going on here, because these are all s directions. Next up, we have South 1, which looks like it will be fire flying, and obviously, because it's a phoenix, it will rise from its ashes, so these will most likely have to do with the story itself. And I'm seeing these guys as, like, the trio, even though this is not, in fact, a trio, it's a quad thing going on. Someone just opened my ear. Anyway, it's a quad thing going on. Next up, we have West 1, which I'm trying to... Give me a second, I gotta think of what type it could be. It's not... It's probably going... It looks... Rock normal, maybe? I'm not completely sure. Shallow can probably go and be like... It looks different. But, you know, something like that. Anyway, that that's it. And th But then we have two more, I forgot. Next up we have Plague 1. And it shows, you know, this thing here. And Plague 1 is a, go it looks like ghost poison. So it could probably be like a ghostly spirit that goes and obviously will have something to do with the series. Along with the, this next one. But... What if this is like the what something like the bad guys or the bad team is trying to go for? Even though it's usually the you know legendaries. But this could, this could be used as evil in my opinion, spraying the plague, spraying sickness around, basically taking it over control. And, that, and finally on this list we have Giant One, which the pig thing on the mountain that we should were shown in the trailer. So this is definitely making an appearance. I don't know about you guys, but it looks pretty humanoid to me. Pretty alien-like too. But then again, that's, that could also be with how it's slanted and stuff. But it's definitely going to be very story-heavy. Hopefully they don't screw it up with story-heavy. So, I, I, I did my job here. Thank you all for so much. I hope you kind of like enjoy my little analysis, my ideas about what's going on, what my opinions are about each one. And uh, make sure you go and check out my channel over there if you like Nuzlocke's gaming, different things like that. Work on live streaming now. Things I haven't been able to, but I will be doing live streaming. So if you enjoy any of that, go make sure you check out my channel. I'll make sure Shallow links my channel somewhere. Probably in the discussion area or, well, you know, comments or uh, description. But anyway, I am so happy. Thank you, Shallow, for having me. I am done here. I will be heading back to my channel now. See you guys later. Adios.